Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching Bocce the Rock episode 12. So we've got the big performance in today's episode in the finale. I'm hoping to hear most of the songs, to be honest. Um, at least snippets of, of all of them would be really nice. Um, they will debut their new song. I'm not sure what it's going to be called, but I'm sure it's going to it's gonna hit in the feels to, in some capacity. Yeah, I'm hoping it's filled with emotion as well. Now that everyone is sort of comfortable in their role mm. in the band. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe it'll represent something like that, like being... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. It'll have some sentimental value to it. Yeah, I hope so. Um, now, Bocci's kind of in a decent space right now, a decent headspace. She's not completely rattled like we're used to seeing her. I mean, at the start of the day, she was. Of course, that's but, a given. Yeah, but she's looking all right. She's got fans in the crowd. Uh, her family's there. I think she'll do well. I'm hoping to see her smile. Yeah, she sort of already was, wasn't yeah. she? She had like a, a calm, serene look on her face. Yeah. So I'm hoping she's going to enjoy the performance a lot. I'm hoping uh, her classmates will really notice her mm -hmm. uh, and it'll be everything she thought it would be. Also, there won't be anything replacing this series right now. Those three slots a week will likely just be either some time off for us or we might add an extra episode for some of the shows that we're already watching. Yeah. Um, so there won't be anything that replaces this immediately. But we've really enjoyed the show. We will probably talk about it more in the discussion, I would say. Mm -hmm. But I'm hoping to end it off with a really cool performance. Yeah, and good feels, you know. Everyone yeah. feeling happy in their, um, in their individual performances and as a group. Yeah. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. What are you doing? Wait, what? What happened? You Was skipped the, the first song. Carly, oh, you skipped crap. the first damn I song. I didn't mean to. It said skip intro. Shit. It's starting again. <laughs> oh, look at her clap. Aww. Oh, he's crying. <laughs> <laughs> his damn camcorder. <laughs> Did you see his tears? Oh, that's nice. About their experiences together or whatever, I think. Yeah. A little bit of a smile there, I'm seeing. Oh, yeah. Hey! <laughs> there we go, Botch. <laughs> that was a mint solo. <laughs> That's a really good song. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, Bocce's so good at the guitar. Mm -hmm. It's a very hard song to play. I love this it's riff. It's like a nostalgic song, even though this is the first time I've like, ever it. Heard does it does sound like that, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. A reminiscent song. <laughs> Morning light falls on you. Aww. That was so good. That I can't believe you so skipped nice. it. I know, I didn't realize. What? I, what? I hate it. Never, no one finishes their sentences. No, the string is going to snap or something. Remember they were talking about her old guitar? Oh, yeah, it sounded, something sounded bad yeah. there. Yeah. He's still oh, crying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he probably never thought his daughter would be doing something like this. It's got Ooh. me all stressed. It's a funky one. This yeah. is cool. Oh, no. Yeah, why now? Uh, oh, the string's not in tune. Drunken Senpai's going to help her somehow. I don't know how. It did break. You're right. Crap. Oh no. 
Oh, yeah. They're going to improvise. They're going to improvise. No, but you need those for the solo. Turn normal voice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Hey. Hey! She's picked up the damn bottle. That was. I did not expect that. That was so I sick. I don't know. You have to explain that to me later. No, but Kita went massive there. She was playing her like little mm. octave chord solo to cover for Bocci. Yeah. She's making do with the other strings right now. Yeah. Oh, I love the the wah. It didn't actually sound out of tune, even though they said it did. It, to me, it didn't sound that out of tune at all. Yeah. I know I have an untrained ear, but it didn't to me either. That was extremely impressive what happened there. Okay, you'll have to, again, explain later. They just improvised around what happened. What happened? I don't know about the glass, though. I had no idea what was going on. It's like a sliding. It, people can actually put this thing on their finger that gives it that sound, that sliding oh. sound. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> they did so great. Mm. Whatever oh. sound. Even when your string broke, they said. Oh, why would she? D oh, I would kill her. Yeah. <laughs> Prearranged script. <laughs> that is very know. true. <laughs> no, She's don't jump into her. the crowd. No, I think this is going to be an epic no, it's moment. Not. Yeah. Oh, she died in the last episode. She died. Bold. Bold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she loves it. Ooh. Oh no, she's blending in. Oh, she's been betrayed by Kita there, and then the the crowd. Where's the other song? It got scrapped. Kita, why have you gone and done that? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's so sweet. <laughs> She's always in an after party. She's ready. No, I'd say the concert was a success. I just wanted to hear another song. Yeah. Yeah, no, I just got really stressed out at the end there. <laughs> this is a stage diver. No, this is good. Have you been noticed? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, do be like that sometimes. Oh, what, after how many years? <laughs> and and kept playing. Yeah. <laughs> no, it all goes to, to Rio mm -hmm. and her meals. Um, what? Oh, ad revenue. Why that's do they a, have the money? Uh, that's a lie. That's a complete lie. Oh. <laughs> Why do they keep things secret? I guess it's to... Yeah, so that... she keeps doing it. Yeah, and they stopped. don't want to overwhelm her. Oh. They've been her biggest supporters. See, we thought they weren't, but they were. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds great. Oh my gosh. She's, she's super saiyan. 
she actually is going yeah. Super Saiyan. That's so funny. It's so funny. Uh. <laughs> wow. That went Back to in plan. the bin. Back in the bin. <laughs> She's a historian. She's a she's a music historian. Yes, she knows a lot of random facts, doesn't she? This reminds me, I have to buy a new guitar soon. I know everyone likes the guitar that I'm using with the with the birds on the fretboard, but you gotta treat yourself. I need to buy another one soon. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh! <laughs> that is not what they're like. They're actually really lovely in the music stores that I've been gosh. to. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good guitar. Mm. Nice bass. Mm. She's out of place there. Where the drums are. Yeah. <laughs> in the manga all the time. <laughs> That's what happened to me. That's what happened to me. Yeah. I started off on drums. Mm. Got lonely and moved to the guitar. <laughs> No, no, no. She's going to need more than that. Speak up, Bocce. Come on. Oh, I'll take the my lot. Gosh. The ghost. Oh, yeah. shit. Yep, there we go. Oh, dear. the worst I've ever seen her. Kit is really helping her out. That's really nice. Uh... New guitar. Okay. This season... <laughs> and she's gone. Oh, she left the guitar. Yeah. <laughs> That's enough now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're just getting jealous. You look at her hug it. Oh, I love it. I love the black. Would you get an all black one? I used to have one. Sick. Oh that, wait, yeah. yeah, it's like exactly the same. <laughs> Why didn't I realize? Well, it's not. This but new one doesn't have gold. It is hard to part ways with the old guitar. Mm. She made a lot of memories with that guitar too. Oh yeah. She's come a long way with that guitar. She <laughs> said she'll be back. Someone's gonna steal the guitar. Okay. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. That's not how I expected the, the final episode to go. You picked up on the foreshadowing uh, last episode about the... The string breaking. Well, yeah, j just about her having an old guitar and, like, they were yeah. talking about that and, and all that. So. Well, it's only when she, like, moved the, the tap, the... Yeah, the little knob, yeah. Yeah, Um, and I heard that, like... Yeah, there was a clicking noise. Yeah, the yeah, click. Yeah. The clicking noise. And I'm like, oh dear. Yeah, that that'd be the worst. The guitar string breaking on stage. Oh. I, I've seen that. I've seen that quite a bit in live performances. A lot of the time, they just switch out the guitar. But that was really cool there. I, yeah, I loved what that set up. What that moment set up. Yeah. Kita came in and she's trying really hard to make Bocce feel more comfortable. She probably feels bad about being a little bit selfish, um, and putting in that application. Right. Yeah. And lying to Bocce. So she's really making an effort to try and look out for her and and uh, do things in her best interest as well mm -hmm. to make her feel a little bit more comfortable. And I just love it how the lessons with Bocce paid off and she kind of hit that like octave solo, like it was a rhythm part. Well, no, it was a lead part, but it was more on the rhythm end. Okay. Um, it's not, not, not the hardest thing to play, but it was still quite cool. It sounded great. Um, she just imp improvised for a little bit. The whole song sounded good. There was no like um 
no issues. I know they were saying the E string was out of tune, but I didn't really notice it too much, to be honest with you. Okay. Uh, maybe they were just saying that without actually detuning the string in the actual audio. But Oh, I see. Okay. So essentially what happened there in the performance with the whole improv was after Kita covered for Bocci, Bocci came up with an idea to use the Drunken Senpai's uh, glass, which I really liked how she got more involved there. But she used it as a guitar slide. So there's a prop, or not a prop, there's um, an accessory that you can use that you can put on, you know, one of your fretting fingers. Um, and you can slide up and down the guitar. And it makes like a vibrato noise. Um, right. Just on one of the strings or? You can use it on multiple. It, it almost mimics the voice, like someone's vocals, but it's more of a um, vibrato sound. It's pretty cool. Um, and she incorporated that into her solo. I, I've i seen a couple of performances of people using it. Uh, it was in one of the Metallica songs that I used to listen to back in the day as well. Um, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. That was very, like, quick thinking on her behalf. Yeah, I know definitely. she had to take a moment. She was like, what do I do? Yeah. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was better than her just, like, tapping out for the rest of the song. <laughs> I don't know if it was better than her jumping into an audience of no one who caught her, but... <laughs> yeah, what happened there? I know okay, Kita was doing a nice... Like, she was trying to do a nice thing. It was coming from a nice place. She wanted to get oh, Bocci to come out of her shell, but that sh- sort of shit would piss me off. Oh, man. It that would kill me. Like, one step at a time sort of thing. <laughs> right? Why did... I don't know why she would have thought that that's a good idea. And I then, just don't know. And then Bocci just thought, screw it, I'm going to jump into it. <laughs> it was now that I think about it, because I was stressed at the time. Now that I think yeah. about it, it was very funny. And then Rio was laughing. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah. The songs were really good. They were a little <laughs> bit different. Like, there was the funky vibe to it. The bass was sick. Like, Rio's a really good bass player. Or yeah. whoever's playing the bass in the studio as well is very good. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was great. Yeah, and overall, I think Bocci had a nice time. It was also nice to see her parents were actually big supporters of her as well. Yeah, very sweet. How nice. And for them to, like, well, it is her money. Yeah, can, can we talk about that? Like... Yeah. Unless Bocci, I, I forget how many views she was saying. I'm pretty sure she had like 30,000 subscribers and she had like, she was getting decent views, but I don't I don't think she said it was anything crazy. Yeah. There's no, like a couple of grand. I don't know if that's accurate. It's well, very hard in the, in the music space. You've got to think about it. So she's posting it to YouTube, right? Yeah. So a cover on YouTube is already short. So you're only going to have minimal ads on it. I know. I know it's I know. an anime. I'm just saying that that wasn't realistic at all. <laughs> I'm just saying it was not realistic. Yeah. Uh, you'd be getting pennies for that, uh, I think. Uh, I don't know. It depends how... Um, maybe in the manga, it's a little bit more fleshed out. The actual specifics of what's going on there, how many views she, she got. And, yeah, uh, maybe. But I don't know. That didn't seem accurate. <laughs> um, but that's nice. She's got a new guitar. She said she'll be back. There'll probably be a season two. I love that. Starting off the new season, new guitar, new bocce. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. That was pretty cool. It is cool to buy a new guitar. It's nice to be in there. Um, I like how they've done that as a way to like finish off season one and start yeah, yeah. the new season. Yeah. Like new beginnings. I did love that guitar. Uh, yeah. That she had the Gibson it was there. very nice. Yeah, that was gold. cool. Yeah. I have to buy a new guitar too. I'm going to get yeah, around to that thinking? maybe at some time this year. I don't know. I'm What's not sure. What's your color? Like what color are you I'm, drawn to? I don't to? see the good thing about me going to a guitar shop is I don't have anything in mind when I'm going. I just, I want the guitar to pick me. Oh, you know what like, I'm saying? I want to be spoken at, um, to. Ollivanders, but the guitar equivalent. It's a Harry Potter the, reference. The yeah. guitar chooses the musician. Yeah. Well, wand chooses the wizard. For me, I think so. I, I don't have anything specific in mind. I usually just want to go in there and pick something up and really like the feel of it. You want the salesperson to sell it to you, to really just... I don't know. I have a good time with the with the sales. Um, yeah, usually they're pretty nice, as With you the salesmen saying. and stuff like that when they're in the music stores. They're, they're really good. Mm. Well, at least my experience is that they have been. So you probably see a new guitar on the channel at some point in the... I don't know. This year, I would say I'm probably going to get another guitar. Maybe you should get a new guitar before Bocce Season 2. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that would be fitting. I think so. Overall, the series was enjoyable. It was quite fun. <laughs> yeah. It was very different to what, you know... Oh, no, it was just more slice of life sort of thing. It was. Um, yeah, I didn't really expect it to be quite like it was. Like, to relate to Bocce so much. Yeah, Bocce was a very relatable character. Yeah, I'm sure maybe extroverted individuals would have a different experience watch, watching this show. Um, maybe they wouldn't but have that, like... Yeah, but they've got Kitta then. You know, they've got oh, someone like true. Kitta to relate to. 
yeah, I, I thought the characters were good. Um, they were really good. They were fun. Uh, all the girls were very different and stood out in different ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bocce's, you know, development throughout the series. I, I liked how relatable Bocce was as well, especially to me. Like, specifically, I found myself relating to him in so many different ways. Yeah. Um. So that was really cool. I saw a really funny comment, and I'm not getting this perfectly correct. I don't know the exact wording, okay. but it was something along the lines of, Positive introvert, botchy, negative introvert, Rio, positive extrovert, Nijika, negative extrovert, Kita. Kita, or something like that. Oh, something like that. It was really funny. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I never thought of it that way. Mm. <laughs> well, not positive and negative, but something else. I, 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 yeah, I kind of get what you're saying. But like, it was showing that they're all so different, but there's that balance in the group and everything like they were mentioning. Yeah. You know, I liked that. I liked how they were all able to contribute to the to the band's success and Bocce becoming comfortable and, and all of that. It was good. The characters were great. You'll have to wait until our 150k subscriber video to see where we officially like rank all these anime that we've mm. been watching because <laughs> um, we'll do a, another tier list there. But yeah, overall, it was good. We'll have to have a listen on Spotify to... Oh, yeah. To the originals. The official album is there, we've been told. That's really cool. Yes. And as we said in the intro, just in case you missed it, nothing will actually be replacing Bocce for now. Uh, we'll probably just use the slots to either upload more of some of the other shows that we're doing or just to take a little bit of a breather because we're uploading like, you know, 12 to 14 videos a week at the moment. So it's quite a lot and it's building up. Yeah, but Bocce was like a really fun, short series to watch. Yeah, it was fun. Sweet and short. Yeah. Have we heard anything about season two or? I just it looks like they they want to do it, but yeah. that's about it. Right? Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm I'm sure maybe late next year or mm. the year after. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.